The wait is over. After more than three years of detailed analysis, NREL has released LA100, the Los Angeles 100% Renewable Energy Study. And it points to no regret steps the city of LA could take this decade to achieve its ambitious goal of reliable, 100% renewable energy by 2045, or even earlier, with valuable insights for the rest of the United States on how to meet national goals for decarbonizing the power sector by 2035. Our experts ran more than 100 million simulations to evaluate different scenarios for how LADWP's complex power system could evolve, incorporating vital input from community members every step of the way. So what did we find? Starting with looking at opportunities on the customer side, the study shows significant benefits from energy efficiency and electrification in terms of improving greenhouse gas emissions, air quality, and public health and emphasizes the critical role of customer demand flexibility to reduce per unit electricity costs and contribute to reliability. When it comes to the power system, near-term options include rapid deployment of new solar, wind, batteries, and transmission in or outside of the city, paired with smart grid operational practices that maximize the efficiency of these investments. And while the study specifically considers 2045 or 2035 as target years for reaching 100%, results show that LA can make significant progress by 2030, including reaching 77 to 99% renewable and zero carbon energy. So it's possible to get most of the way there in the next decade while achieving significant reductions in power sector emissions. But what about getting all the way to 100%? Wind and solar, enabled by battery storage, provide the majority of energy in all the scenarios studied. Now, that may seem like a given, but LE100 also made reliability a fundamental requirement for the 100% renewable grid to ensure it won't fail under extreme events like wildfires that could take out transmission lines. To maintain reliability, all the study scenarios call for some type of renewably fueled combustion turbine located within the city that can come online within minutes and run for several days. This type of resource would be used infrequently, but history has proven it would be vital to keeping the lights on during periods of lower wind and solar, extremely high demand, or unplanned events like transmission outages. Here, the study points to a big challenge in the final stretch toward 100%, finding a renewable resource that serves this role. There are several viable options, including biofuels or new hydrogen technologies, and other possibilities that haven't been explored yet, like multi-day demand response programs. But these solutions vary in terms of costs and commercial maturity. And different communities may have different preferences. Having a range of options could keep costs down for LADWP and its customers, while LA finds localized solutions to this longer-term question. And what about the community's concerns about creating jobs, cleaner air, and environmental justice? LA100 has many more insights into what it will take to achieve an equitable, reliable, clean energy future in LA and beyond. Dive into the study results on our website.